welcome to another week's reading vlog. I'm starting this ridiculously late at night. It is 10 past 11 on Monday night. I have been very busy this evening um, editing last week's reading vlog. Even though it wasn't very long, it still took time because between doing it, I've also been helping my mum set up her new business page and stuff. She's on a new business venture, so I've been helping her set up all of her pages, etc., that she needed to do. We've just been having like a little strategy meeting <laughs> about her new business. Um, so it's been a busy evening, but I am here. I am vlogging this week. It's just a late start. Right, so if you saw last week's reading vlog then you're probably aware that I read like nothing. And when I say like nothing I mean nothing. I didn't read last week. I wanted to. I had all the best intentions to read and I just didn't. So I feel we should move swiftly on from that. I feel like maybe I'm just not fancying Queen of Shadows. I would love to be fancying Queen of Shadows but I'm just not and if I'm not I'm not gonna force myself into it. So what I did today is start reading In Real Life by Corey, Dr. Rao and Jen Wang. Um, I said in last week's reading vlog I was going to start this and then I never did. I actually did today and I'm probably about a third of the way through it and I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to get in bed shortly and read more because it is really late as you can tell. So yeah, that's the plan. I think a graphic novel is going to be great to get me back into the swing of things after a down week and then we'll see what happens from there. I will need to pick a different book to take to work with me tomorrow because I would that wouldn't last my lunch break. I'll tackle that tomorrow morning. But as for now, that is what's happening. I hope you enjoyed last week's reading vlog even though there was nothing in it. I really, really hope that this week I have more content for you. So fingers crossed on that one. I will try my very best. But yeah, I'm gonna read some of this. This is about, if you're not aware, a girl who for her birthday she asks her mum for a membership to an online like role play game thing and she's invited to a girls only guild to raise the confidence of girls gaming online and playing as girls and stuff which is really cool. It's like girl power and she gets involved in not like a scam or at least I don't think it's a scam at this point, but there are people who pay players to kill gold miners because the gold miners are mining the gold illegally and selling it on and you're not supposed to be able to play for like real money. So it's kind of like against the rules but fighting for the rules sort of thing and it's kind of like this moral grey ground and I think our main character is like having some issues with is what she's doing right but what they're doing is wrong etc. And we've just kind of got to like the main point of the plot where she's just spoken to one of these gold farmers. I'm enjoying it so far. I like the difference between like in real life and in game. It's cool. I like it. And the art is really lovely. Like I do really quite like the cute art style. I'm enjoying it. But yes, I do want to go and read more of it. So I've got myself a cup of tea up there. I'm gonna get in bed and read some because it's late and I need to do that. And I need to get my makeup off because my face just feels... <sighs> So yeah, I'm gonna do that and I will check in with you tomorrow at some point. <laughs> wow, I look rough. <laughs> Sorry that you have to deal with this face. This is the face of a jade that's just got out of the shower. This isn't a dressing gown, like I do have clothes on. Right, so it's Tuesday evening. I spoke to you last night before I went to bed, said I was about to get in bed and read In Real Life. I proceeded to finish In Real Life last night. Like, I've now read all of it. So, it's Tuesday, I finished a book. <sighs> Hooray, we already have so much progress over last week. So yesterday I read all of this, I know it's a graphic novel, but that equates to, how many pages? 175 pages of this. Hooray! I'm so happy I've read something. So I've done a little review for this on Goodreads. I know last time I spoke to you I said I was really enjoying it and I did enjoy it. It was fun but I gave it three stars in the end so it's kind of an in the middle, not awful, like it was fun, there's that, but it just wasn't enough for me to give it a four star. It just lacked a lot. It felt very quick and it lacked any real depth it was fun. I was kind of wanting more on the like conflict between in real life and the game and I wanted that to have more of an impact on our character's life. Um, everything just seemed to go too quick and be resolved too quick. There's a part in this where our main character dyes her hair and that's like not 
explained at all. Like, I don't know how to explain that because of course I dye my hair all the time, I don't have to explain that to anyone. But like, I feel like our main character lacks so much confidence and she goes, she dyes her hair red and then she goes into school and she's like strutting down the corridor and that's just never explained. Like there's no lead up to that, it's just she's in the supermarket moping with her parents, sees some hair dye, dyes her hair and is then strutting about and there's never any like aftermath about that either. Which seems weird to me, like I feel like there should have been something there, like her newfound confidence and something, I don't know, that being her online character gave her that confidence but it's never explained, it's never gone into and the overall plot resolution just seemed too quick for me. But it was fun, it was fun, I liked the gaming aspect of it, it just lacked real depth for me. But yeah, that's that, I still enjoyed it. Would I recommend it? For a fun read, if you need something quick and light-hearted and cute, like the art style was really cute, then absolutely. If you want something deep, it's not deep and I kind of thought that it was gonna be because the back says that our main character comes to realise that the questions of right and wrong are a lot less straightforward when a real person's real livelihood is at stake. And I get where that's coming from but it just was too quick, like that wasn't deep enough for it to be like the main selling point I think. That's what I thought of that. This isn't a wrap up, what am I doing? <laughs> Um, then I said I was going to need a new book to take to work, which I obviously did. And I know I said I was going to read sequels this month, but I just felt in the mood for this particular read right here. Witchborn by Nicholas Bowling, Bowling, whatever. This is like the most autumnal cover you ever did see in your life, I'm sure. And quite possibly why I'm so drawn to it. Also, bird on the cover, like, so me. <laughs> I'm now 40 pages into this, I'm up to chapter 4 but there is a pre prequel in there as well. This is about a girl called Alice who is found on the streets after her mum has been killed for witchcraft, like burned at the stake, and she's run away from this village that are after her because they think she's a witch and she's been found by someone that works at Bedlam Asylum and she's been put in there. It's creepy. It's I'm only 40 pages in so I can't tell you too much about it because I haven't learnt a lot but I'm really enjoying it so far, it's giving me real creepy vibes. I can't wait to get further into this because it's like a mix between, it's set in like 1577 or something and the back is a quote from one of the characters within the book. Witches, they ain't nothing but fairy stories and all over England women getting killed just because they know things. It's like a mix between what life was like for women then just being burned at the stake because of supposed witchcraft. But there's also so clearly some actual witchcraft going on. So it's a fantastic mix and I'm enjoying it a lot so far, I can't wait to continue. But I am only like 40 pages in so I can't tell you too much more than that but I'm excited. Then on my walk home from work, because obviously I can't read and walk, I would if it wasn't raining though to be honest, <laughs> so I needed to listen to an audiobook. So hello dreams of God and monsters. Yes, I am moving on to the final book in this series. I only listened to about half hour of it though because I got home relatively quickly so that's only 23 pages but already back in, like it hasn't been long since I read the last one so it's not like I've come out of this world and had to be thrown back into it but I'm just pumped to be listening to this again. I'm really sad that it's going to be over though but this is this is a hefty book so I've got a way to go with this one and the audiobooks have just been such a great way to do it as well because the narrator suits it so well and I'm just pumped about it. So yeah, I'm reading two books at the minute and I finished one yesterday so like the progress compared to where I was at this point last week, not even at this point last week, like the whole of last week is amazing. So pat myself on the back, well done Jade. And yeah, that's my update for you now. Now I need to get sorted and go to Jake's. But yeah, I'll probably check in with you again tomorrow because I can't be bothered to take my camera with me quite simply. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, welcome to Wednesday. <laughs> I think it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Look at me, like actually remembering to film three days in a row. This is incredible. Okay, so reading updates for now. I've been at work all day. Obviously, it's Wednesday. Of course I have. I work Monday to Friday. Duh. Right. Anyway, still reading Witchborn. I'm now nearly a hundred pages into it. I'm up to chapter nine, which is page 97. So very nearly a hundred pages in. I am really thoroughly enjoying this so far. Definitely creepy. Witchcraft, 1500s London. 
we've got Queen Elizabeth and Mary, Queen of Scots, making appearances now, and, like, clearly there's something going down. Really enjoyable. And I like our main character, whose name is Alice, by the way, and I've had that line in the book now, and I'm just really enjoying this and can't wait to read more. I am thoroughly pleased I picked this up because I'm enjoying it a lot. I also managed to listen to another half hour of the audiobook for this today on my walk to work today rather than my walk home uh, because I ended up meeting my father after work. But yeah, I'm now up to chapter six on this, which is only page 38, so not far at all, but stuff's already, like, happening. There are things going on. I'm still super excited. I don't have anything new to say in regards to this different to what I probably told you yesterday. But yeah, that's what's going on. I'm still reading and enjoying it. Um, I actually had a video scheduled for today, which has gone up. So like I've uploaded a video during, <laughs> I say I uploaded it during the week, I scheduled it last week, but like a video's gone up. I'm reading, things are being successful. I'm remembering to vlog, which is new. They're, they're my cushions that my camera has decided are more important than me. Hello. There we go. Okay, um, I don't really have anything else to say at the minute, um, just reading updates. Um, I have nothing else of any importance to tell you, so I'm gonna probably read some, chill out for a bit, and that's it, really. My hair is looking a lot redder at the minute than it does in real life. Honestly, like, it's going blondes at the bottom. Not that you can really tell. Like, it was purple. I haven't dyed this since I dyed it that dark purple. This is what it's turned into. I need to actually dye it again, although currently in this light it looks alright. So, um, interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Hello, friendly folk. It is Wednesday evening. No, it's not. It's Thursday evening. Jesus. Thursday the 13th. It's about half seven. Um, in terms of my reading updates for today, um, my book is in here somewhere. This is my backpack that I take to work with me every day. Yes, in terms of reading, I haven't done too much reading today because I was busy on my lunch break today, um, but I'm up to page 112, which is chapter 10. I'm still thoroughly enjoying this and I will be reading some more a bit later. But I have a bit of a parcel to unbox. I don't know if anyone is familiar with the brand Scentsy at all, but um, my mum's started a bit of a new business venture and she's become a consultant for this company that sell not oil burners, because it's not oil, but like wax, wax melters, I suppose. You know how you get like those wax melters where you put a little tea light underneath and there's like a dish on top and you put your like wax cubes in it and it heats up and melts it. So you're getting the scent of that rather than the boring scent of the tea light. Sort of like that, except you don't need the tea light because they're plugins. So I've got plugs. <laughs> So it's like a solid unit and there's like a hot plate on it and you put your dish on that and that heats up the wax. Which I think is potentially much better value for money because wouldn't it be really frustrating to have to buy the wax and the tea lights? I've never understood that myself. I've never had a wax melter before, ever. Um, mainly because I hate tea lights. So there you go, fun fact. So this seemed like a really good idea to me. I mean, you know I'm a candle person, I love candles, but I'm a hoarder when it comes to candles and I like them to look pretty, so I tend to not burn them constantly. So there's that. Anyway, yeah, I bought myself three, well, I didn't actually buy myself three, I bought myself two of the warmers, which meant that I could get a third one at half price. So I ended up with three. <laughs> Um, and I got myself six different fragrances of wax and I'm just really excited about it. So I'm gonna show you what I got. This is my first one. This one is called the Zen Rock. It's much bigger than I was anticipating it to be. So you open the box and sitting on top, I've got the little dish. So I'll get that out. So you've got the little dish and this is where you put the wax. And then this is the warmer. So it's like a pebble. I mean, it's quite big for a pebble. It is more of a rock. But then this bit here is what gets hot. So you put this on there, 
that is the whole unit. There is no flame, no fire. And you plug it in. I mean, you've got a little on off switch at the back, but you know that bit at the back. So that's your stand. And you put your wax cubes in there and off it goes. And you get the smell from your wax and that's it. So I think another reason I don't leave my candles on all the time is because I'm incredibly nervous of burning my bookshelves. I've done it once, I don't want to do it again. And because I've got my young sisters around, I don't like leaving them on like my sides where they can reach them. Whereas this I could potentially leave on my bookshelf and like not run the risk of burning anything. So anyway, that's my first one. This is my second one, which I think is beautiful. This one's slightly different because it doesn't have a dish, it just is a whole unit. That's the back. It just is a whole unit. I love this. This fits my aesthetic so much. I think it's beautiful. And it just is the dish and obviously the inside of there gets hot and that is it. And again, no flame, no anything, and it's beautiful so I got that one as well. I do think this one is my favourite and then this one is the one I got at half price. So this one has a glass dish and then this is the warming element of it so it's like etched copper. It's very copper but it's like you know rough brush strokes and that sits on top of that and there you have it. That's that. I think, the not that I can hold all of them, but you know, I think these are all lovely. I'm chuffed with them. I, I don't know why I got three. I'm never gonna need three of them, but I suppose it'll help my mum out in terms of having them to show people to sell them. But yeah, that's her new business venture. She's selling these and of course the wax that comes with it. I got myself six wax bars. Let's go through what I got. This one is simply a black cherry. Mm. Let's have a sniff. Mm. Love it. This one is spiced berries. Oh, so autumnal. I love it. This one is apple and cinnamon sticks. Like, can you notice the theme I'm going with here? Oh, delicious. Black raspberry and vanilla. Oh, I love that one as well. That one has just made my mouth water. Cinnamon vanilla. Again, autumnal beautiful. And then I got a strawberry swirl. I got this one mainly thinking of Jake because he loves strawberry scented things. In fact, Jake is very much candle man as well. So I think he's going to appreciate these. But yeah, they're what I've got. I think I'm going to put one of them on and then I will show you it with it like melted and report back on the like scent throw of them. But I'm very excited by this. So um, I will check in with you soonish. <laughs> I said I was going to report back on these and here I am reporting back. This has completely melted. By the way, I watched back my last clip and realised I never told you what this one was called. This one is Midnight Copper. But anyway, as you can see, melted wax and it's like not hot. Like it's warm, but it's not hot. So like if I did leave that on my bookshelf, nothing would burn because like, hello. <laughs> so yeah. There's that. And just in case I forgot to tell you, I'm not sure if I did, this one is etched copper and this one is zen rock. And I think they look quite cool on my shelf there. But yeah, that's that. And in terms of scent throw, wow, I'm a mess. In terms of scent throw, the house smells like cherries. This is the black cherry scent that I've put in there and the whole house smells like the inside of a cherry. In each of the scent packs, you get how many do you get? Eight cubes. And I've only used one. And as I say, the house smells like the inside of a cherry. And you know, that's a decent pool. That's decent. So yeah, that would last you a while. And as you saw, I got six bars. So um, probably last me a while. And I don't necessarily have to take this lot out tonight because the scent is so clearly still there. If I was to just turn this off and let it set again, when I turn it on again, this would remelt and probably still smell. So, I mean, we'll see how long the smell of one bar lasts, but it's still strong now. And this has been going for like, what, four hours maybe? Ish? That's that. Hello. Then I look absolutely spectacular. I can like barely move my face. <laughs> It is Saturday evening and I haven't updated you since like Thursday so I didn't film anything yesterday, sorry about that. Busy day, as Fridays tend to be. Um, I didn't get much reading done yesterday, in fact I only read 
two chapters, which was like 12 pages or something yesterday, so I'm still reading Witchborn by Nicholas Bowling. Um, whilst I've got this on my face, I plan on chilling out and reading a little bit more so that hopefully I'll have something to update you with in a bit. Um, I'm waiting for this to dry. My battery is flashing, so I might just pop my camera on charge whilst I do that as well. It's the weekend, it's Saturday evening, it's, I don't know what time it is to be honest, quite late, probably half nine-ish. Um, today we've taken the dog out for a walk twice and um, been browsing for a new TV and I kind of daydreamed at the cameras <laughs> but obviously I don't need, well I would like a vlogging camera, I'm sure I've told you that before because I use my Canon um, 750D for everything, including this. So I've got my external mic plugs in up there, big ass camera, it's heavy. Um, so I'm kind of daydreaming about getting a little vlogging one, but I can't afford it right now, I have more important things to save up for. That's what's happened today, not much else to be honest. I'm gonna read some now whilst this is on my face, as you can probably tell from my surroundings. Emma jokes. I'll update you when I actually have something else to tell you and when maybe I can move my face a little bit more because talking's actually quite difficult with this on. <laughs> so it's Sunday. I feel like I haven't vlogged much this weekend at all but the plan for now, it's five o'clock on Sunday. I've done some reading today a little bit anyway. I've passed halfway for Witchborn now. I'm on page 180 of 320. So what's that like another 140 pages. So with any luck, I'm hoping I might be able to finish this this afternoon slash evening. So that's the plan. I haven't done any editing of this vlog yet though. So there's that. So I don't reckon I will do any editing of it today unless I fly through this pretty quickly. Uh, but that's the plan. So I'm gonna do that thing that I did before that helped me finish a book and say I'm not gonna update you until I finish this. So next time you see me I'll hopefully be in focus. I hope to have finished this. So that's what's going on right now. I will check in with you when I'm done. I'm back. I've finished. It is now quarter to ten on Sunday night, so, well, I finished it a little while ago. I have since had a shower and laid down for a bit, but I'm done with it. I have finished Witchborn by Nicholas Bowling right now. I was pleasantly surprised by this. Historical fiction is not my thing. And even though this is set in the 1500s, for some reason my brain didn't make the connection this is a historical fiction. It's based around the time of um, Queen Elizabeth I and um, Mary, Queen of Scots, and witchcraft being, you know, a suspicious thing at the time, etc, etc. So it is a historical fiction and typically I don't like those, but I really like this. Um, I think I'm giving it four stars, like I liked it a lot, but it's not five star worthy because you know I'm being really quite strict with those books that I give five stars, like they have to really have like captivated me and been something super special. But this was good, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I would recommend it. I have probably told you what it's about throughout this so I won't tell you any more than what you've probably already seen, but I really like it. I really liked how it ended. I liked it as a whole thing and I'm pleased that I've read it. This is a very suitable book if you're looking for like a witchcraft or a witchy spooky Halloweeny read. I think it's perfect for the season that's upon us and as I've probably said numerous times like could this cover be any more autumnal? Probably not. Um, I can't help but think about because now I, I asked on Twitter if there are any readathons going on and I know that Rhiannon mm. from Crescent Moon Reads is doing her what's it called, the Witchathon or something, and I just feel like this would be appropriate for that. <laughs> but yeah, that's that now done with. Um, obviously I am still listening to the audiobook of Dreams of Gods and Monsters, but I haven't listened to any more of that this weekend because I do that for my walk to and from work, so I have no more progress on that. Which means the only other book that I have with me at Jake's is Queen of Shadows, again! So I might try and read a little bit of this this evening, but no promises. As we know, I really don't care. So we'll see where I get with this. But otherwise, now seems a super appropriate time to end this vlog because it's Sunday, thus the end of the vlog. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope I've given you a little bit more content than I did last week. I've definitely read more than I did last week because I've finished two books this week. Like, whoa. Uh, so yeah. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, give us a thumbs up. 
you know, chat to me about whatever. Um, and I will see you in the next one.